Hello Stampers, it's Debbie with Stamp It With Debbie and today I have a tip to share with you on how to create a mirror image of a stamp because sometimes we have two images and we want them to be able to face each other and it's maybe hard to figure out. So I'm just gonna show you a quick tip. Now that I'll let you know that there are several ways to do this. This is just one way that I figured it out. And so what I mean by this is, this is a cow from over the moon and if I were to stamp it, he would come right there. Well, if I wanted two cows, I'm going to show you how you can get this other cow on here. So let's get started. I'm showing you using the Stamparatus and also the silicone craft mat. Now I have cut a piece, um, a die from the nested labels and I'm using this die because I'm putting both pieces on here. So if you had dies or framelits, that you are just cutting out of another piece of paper, you wouldn't necessarily have to have the die. So you're able to stamp on anything. The first thing that I did is I took this piece here and I wanted to make some outlines so that I knew exactly where it would be lining up once I put my craft mat down. So I'm just gonna take a marker and I'm gonna come out this way and I'm coming out this way, following this grid line on here. And this grid paper is an add-on to the Stamparatus that you can order through the annual catalog. All right, now I can remove this piece. Actually, I can't remove that piece. Um, I'm gonna put this back on here, lining it back up with my grid mark. Now I'm gonna take my cow with the sticky side up. This is a cling mount stamp. So the sticky side up, and I'm going to position this cow right where I expect it to be onto my cutout piece. Again, if you're just using um, another die and you're stamping on regular paper, it doesn't matter. You don't have to line it up like this. You could just um, go ahead and skip this step and just use the craft mat. But I'm gonna put another cow over here and then I'll be able to make a card. So this is all lined up where I want it to be. Sticky side up. So I'm gonna bring the door to the Stamparatus over. Now I can remove this die cut. Now I'm going to place my silicone mat right on top of those lines so I can make sure to stamp right on here. I'm going to bring this in view here. Put some ink on the cow stamp and bring it over and I'm gonna stamp directly onto that silicone craft sheet. Now, when you lift this up, if you see that you missed a spot, you can go ahead and ink again, but I've Feel like I'm good. Now this is where I'm going to put the die down. What whatever side you want to be up, that's the side you're going to put down. So you know when you cut a, a stitched die like these dies have little bumps that go down and if you make a mistake you can use the back but for now I'm going to use this as my front so I'm going to turn it upside down and I'm going to stamp that one more time because I want to make sure it's nice and wet. And then again, the side that's going to be facing out, I'm gonna put down. And you really only get one chance because remember the ink on the silicone mat is wet. So follow your lines that you can see through the mat. And now you don't have to ink again, just bring that right over. Push it down and yes, there's gonna be a cow here, but the cow we want is right here. So I'm gonna put my Stamparatus out of the way and I'm gonna grab the, the cow stamp and put it on a clear block, ink it up, and then I can stamp the other one that's going to be facing the one that we just did. Now, when I said you don't have to um, have a die cut, or like a circle or a square, anything, what I meant was, this is a good example. This is the Cardinal from the Twal Suite in the Holiday Catalog, and these cardinals have a die cut that go to them so I didn't need to necessarily put them onto a die cut when I put it into the Stamparatus because I'm going to be using the dies through the Big Shot to cut them out. So now my cows are ready to put on a card and look how cute they look facing each other and you can put a little greeting on there and you're all ready to go. If you liked the video today please click subscribe below and I hope that you will join me over on my Facebook group at facebook.com 
backslash Stamp It With Debbie. I hope to see you again real soon.